Hello friends, today we are going to discuss about uh, self-love, okay? So what is self-love and why is it needed? Okay, as the name suggests, self-love is loving ourselves. Now, most of the time we feel like, okay, I love myself because, you know, this is who I am and I have to love myself. And I read somewhere that, uh, you know, um, every human being uh, loves themselves the most than anybody else they love. So I felt like, okay, self-love is uh, by default, uh, you know, it is with everyone. Everyone loves themselves. However, if uh, we analyze it, then you will understand that that is not the case. So that means if I have and anger and hatred for someone else outside. So that means uh, that, uh, that anger, that hate, uh, what I have for others is something which is residing within myself, which is kind of a reflection, okay? So other people, um, they say, is just like a mirror, which is, uh, I see myself, uh, you know, some nature of myself, which I do not like, and that's kind of a reflection uh, and the other people are just the reflection, okay, or the reflector, and I am reflecting, you know, my own nature there. So what is then, uh, you know, self-love? First of all, we are born in this world with love, you know, uh, in, in, in the arms of our parents, okay, so much of love and affection. And hopefully, when we pass away from this world, then, you know, uh, we are, we will be loved upon, okay, by, by our near and dears, okay. So that means love is, you know, kind of uh, always from the start to the beginning, uh, sorry, from the, from the beginning to the end, you know, the love is, uh, you know, the mechanism of love is ingrained, uh, you know, in the God's own uh, way of, you know, designing life, okay. But how, while we are living our life, um, what happens is we lose ourselves or who we are, okay? We just lose our entity and identity. And uh, that is the reason why first to love ourselves, first we need to know who I am, okay? And uh, in, in the Eastern philosophy, in uh, Oriental culture, you know, or in Vedic sort of a tradition and teaching, if you see, you know, the, the self or who I am is the Atman. They say it is Atman, you know, your own identity, yourself, okay? Which is different uh, than my body, okay? And also the mind, what we think, you know, that is quite sort of a, uh, easily we can differentiate that, okay? I might be uh, sitting here, but I may be thinking about something else. That means, you know, uh, you know, when I say I am thinking, okay, my, my thoughts are somewhere because I do not realize that I'm thinking about something and suddenly, okay, what am I thinking? I know you bring your attention back. So if you understand there are three entities here, my body may be there, I may be thinking about something else, okay? So that means body and then mind and then soul, which is the self, you know, in, in Oriental uh, philosophy or Oriental uh, teachings that or Vedic teaching, this is what, you know, is uh, all about. So how do we then differentiate or how do we start to love ourselves? Okay, the first step is I need to realize who I am first, okay? So let me just share this chart here, okay? So let's understand this, okay? What are the steps of self-love, okay? And why should you do? So because without me loving myself, I cannot give the love to somebody else. So that means uh, I should be uh, selfish enough to love myself first, okay? Because when I love myself, then I love others, okay? So that is the self-love. So first is in the process of developing the self-love, okay? The first step is I need to know myself, who I am, okay? And how do I know? The best thing is observing silence, okay? When, you know, there are so many ripples on, on, on the plane of water, if you see, you will not be able to see something, uh, you know, which is lying beneath it. For example, there is a silver coin just uh, on, on the bed of the water or the bottom of bottom of the water or the you know lake or pond or whatever you are taking so if there are ripples okay on the 
uh, on the uh, sort of surface of water, then I will not be able to see the coin. So once the ripples are all quiet and silent, then I will be able to see it crystal clear. Okay, exactly the same way before I develop um, I know self-love or before even I think of how do I develop the self-love, I have to understand the self first, who I am, okay? And in Sanskrit, you know, a, which is an ancient, you know, language spoken in India, you know, that is, um, uh, you know, they say that it's, it's uh, you know, when a baby is born, okay? So baby cries, okay, and it's kind of his cry is uh, is crying for his or her own identity, okay, crying, and the cry they say that it's saying he's crying, cries, uh, you know, ch uh, chanting or you know, calling, you know, we say that ko ahang, okay, it saying says ko ahang, uh, who am I, okay, it's you know in in the, the meaning in English would be who am I ko ahang ahang means me who ko ahang means who am I okay that is what is uh, that kid is or a baby is asking uh, to the to the whole world okay so so first is identifying who I am first because when we are born okay we don't know uh, you know we are born to a family with parents and then it's kind of uh, an onion, you know, if you see there are layers after layers, okay, um, you know, and which onion is formed. So exactly the same way when you are born, there is, you know, no, nothing, no other thoughts or nothing has uh, been around me. However, then I start to realize who I am is, okay, I am this person's son or this person's daughter, or I am in this society, I am part of this family, I am, uh, this uh, belong to this religion or I belong to this country. So these are all the identities which gets formed that's just layer after layer. Okay, so the true identity is lost because we, we start to associate ourselves with, uh, you know, uh, what we see around and what we, you know, it's kind of a, you know, we are a part of a tribe, you could say, you know. So when, um, you know, the you have to follow the norm of the tribe so whatever the other people are saying whatever other people are doing and uh, you know if you are not following you will be out of the tribe because that is how you know if you see you know the tribal or these uh, stone age people you know our ancestors they used to live in that way okay so our identity has started forming in that way so that i start to think that okay I am an engineer, I am a doctor, I am an accountant, I am a consultant, I am so-and-so, okay, based on, okay, the career, okay, what we studied, we feel like, okay, I am that, okay, and then we start to think, okay, I am the son, or I am the husband, or I am, uh, you know, um, the dad, or so, so these are the different kinds of uh, strings we are attaching to ourselves without knowing truly who we are okay and so how do i know then who i am is you know it's, it's not that complicated as well if we meditate we if you keep our mind or take our mind and uh, body to a level where it is very silent okay or if there is no ripples okay just like what ripples we discussed about so then i will be able to um, realize, okay, who I am slowly. It takes, it may take a few, you know, a few, few sessions or a few months or a few years, but slowly I will be able to differentiate myself from, uh, you know, what I was thinking that I was, okay, to true who truly I am. So once I develop that, okay, so the silencing, um, you know, a uh, few things, how, what would help me make my body and mind silent first thing is uh, talking less okay so when i am quieter i'm a bit silent you know my my mouth you know you are kind of a chatterbox nowadays you know so much of energy goes uh, when we are talking so I, when i'm silent that means i'm reflecting i can reflect on myself i'm preserving the energy within myself okay another thing of how silencing your body is a uh, 
fidgeting fidgeting means all of us you know if um, i have seen myself as well i've seen others as well a lot of time what we do is uh, while doing certain things while, while i am um, writing an email probably my heads uh, sorry my my legs may be shaking or i may be tapping on um, you know one hand on on the table so these are called fidgeting actions that means these are not intentional uh, i am not aware of these things i am uh, doing okay but unconsciously i am doing those okay so that means my 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 body performance body performance is not within my control okay so that is not so good news so that means we have to be in control over our own things okay so silencing our body is extremely important and silencing our mind okay silencing how do i silence my mind so when we read when we you know watch certain things that is the first thing you know which uh, has uh, an impact on our on our brain okay so it's very important that uh, you know if i want to take a session or if i want to silence my mind for half an hour one hour first of all i need to do is i need to refrain from looking at my mobile phone or uh, you know reading things uh, you know which may agitate my my mind so that is quite important okay mind and uh, you know body to make it silent okay then slowly so how do i do that can i silent it every every uh, minute of the day every hour of the day probably not possible okay so what we need to do is we have to balance it with it, with our career and other commitments and our kind of a, a journey of knowing myself and loving myself is uh, you know a dedicated time i can give okay so that is um, uh, for example one hour every day for morning this time to this time or afternoon or evening time so you can give yourself that time okay so silencing your mind next thing is uh, uh, you know again we are talking about now silencing your mind you start to know yourself and then we'll be talking about self loving exercises or what are the steps or what are the things what we can do to start generating loving myself is next thing is gratitude okay gratitude journal writing things what i like about myself okay or what i am thankful of okay so this is a very very powerful um, uh, step whereby i um i can fill myself with a lot of blissful thoughts and uh, in so much of thankfulness within myself um that you know i uh, my inner being will be cheering up okay that becoming so happy okay because most of the time we complain okay complain when we are praying then we will complain to god god i don't have this can you give me this can you give me that praying okay rather than ring ladder than asking for something how about we just uh, look within ourselves and see what i have got if i have two arms two hands and there are people out there who do not have an arm or both the arm they are amputated then uh, i have to be so much of thankful i must i should be so much so much thankful to my to my creator okay if you are believe in god uh, you know then uh, thankful to to god okay because i have to to arms to legs uh, eyesight i can see or everything around there are people who do not have uh, you know the eyesight as well so lot of things we have um uh if you if you want to count the blessing there are so many blessings what we have but we hardly ever count it so gratitude journal helps you to do that okay so when you write it down or what are the things what you like about yourself and what you have it may be physical position maybe your physical characteristics or maybe your mental ability or whatever okay uh, maybe you have a loving parents maybe you have loving uh, kids or um you know maybe you have a pet as well okay you love the pet okay pet loves you whatever we have so many things around which you can look around and feel proud and feel privileged so those are the things you write next thing do what you love to do okay a lot of us lot of people out there you know they do not like what they do 
okay for example if you have a job which is uh, you know not something which you like and you are uh, kind of a dread the job and uh, you know you you are not never excited and you lose the passion when as soon as you get to your workplace or you know or you start working okay so that means uh, you are not happy okay you don't you are not happy with what you are doing and uh, you may be making money but that is not giving you the happiness and life is all about happiness okay so why not take that decision and uh, you know it may be you know you may be thinking this is a big decision uh, to get into look into something uh, what i love but it may not be that big as well why not is because it's just a decision okay and you look for something which you love and you will slowly see with this revolution of internet and so many people are uh, out there you know because uh, what what is blogging anyway okay what is blogging on a so much social media you know people are having their own channels and all so they whatever they are passionate about people just put it out there and what happens in this process if they are if you are putting out there whatever you are passionate about your knowledge your information you know um, your passion what happened there are other people out there in this world who resonates with you okay who uh, who like what what you post okay and what you have to say and that is where a connection is met and uh, you know you can then um, start to start to promote and market and uh, you know your knowledge and whatever you you have to all these people okay that is a biggest sort of uh, asset uh, or biggest thing what internet has given us so we can we can look into that as well okay so next thing is a stop correcting others okay most of us we want to correct others instead of correcting ourselves we feel we see uh, problems with everyone around but myself so i feel like i am the perfect person in this world but rest entire world is imperfect okay the whole world needs to be changed not me i think it makes quite a bit of a sense to change myself it will be easier for me to change myself than the whole world okay so it is for everyone's case okay all of us we feel like i am the right person okay everything else is wrong okay so now guess what if that is the case then who is right okay if i am right the other person says that he is right then so every other person is saying he is right then who is the wrong then so there is no thing right and wrong we should always be able or we should be always willing to change correct myself to to improve on myself and then grow okay stop correcting others then the next thing attracting and spreading love okay now attracting and spreading love this is a this is you can say is a meditation you can do okay so what is this meditation let me just give it tell you before we move on to the last point your heart chakra meditation this attracting and spreading medit- medit- uh, love it's a very simple meditation you just close your eyes and uh, make yourself relaxed okay and uh, why do you need to close your eyes because when you close your eyes then you start your inner journey okay your outside distraction is stopped okay so and what do you do so you first rest you know every part of your body uh, you know put it on rest and then you start to um have a vision or start to see yourself okay see in your mental eyes that a ray is coming that is a ray of love okay your creator this universe or whatever you believe in your god so god is uh, you know blessing you in advance or the whole universe is sending love to you because the universe loves you so much because the universe created you okay and uh, created you in its uh, you know the most beautiful form okay so that love it's uh, you are receiving that love within yourself it is coming into your entire body through your you know scalp and then you know penetrating your or to your every cells of your body okay so once you do that okay this this meditation uh, um and then the next step is you are letting that uh, that love now spread across okay so it's just coming in and then it is going to and spreading across you know to the entire world starting from your family there your household and the neighborhood then your 
um, town or the city or the village, wherever, the entire country and the entire world. Okay. So what you are doing in this process is you are closing your eyes and then seeing that the ray of love is you know, going and spreading all across. Okay. People are more loving, more caring. So that is what you are doing to do. Okay. The last is a heart chakra meditation. This is a very, very powerful meditation. And what do you do? You know, now this is a chakras, you know, chart. Uh, when you can see there are, again, what are, what is chakra? Chakra is, uh, you know, in, uh, in a Vedic sort of, uh, you know, in Hindu culture and the Vedic tradition, this is how, you know, the meditation, you know, uh, different levels of meditation you do, uh, whereby, you know, you accomplish different things during this meditation process. So it starts with a root chakra, okay, to the optimum or the, the, to the highest level is the crown chakra, okay. So that means this is a basic trust to spiritualism, okay. Now, if you see here, the heart chakra you see here, it's called love healing. So that means this is where, you know, you, um, you spread that love or you attract that love and you love yourself. So this is what the chakra is. Chakra is an imaginary, you could say it's an imaginary um, uh, point in your body where a certain kind of energy, okay, flows, okay. And by focusing on that point, so that certain kind of energy can be triggered, okay. So this is called chakra meditation. So what do you do? Sit in a position like this, if you are able to, if you are not able to, that's also fine, but you have to relax and then you, know, you visualize, okay, yourself, you know. So this is heart chakra is, you know, just where your heart is, the same level. So you are just focusing with your eyes closed that, you know, your, your attention and focus is in the heart. And then, you know, you start to see for yourself, Okay, and when you have a focus on that point, you can slowly feel the energy as well there. Okay, but after a few sessions, you know, it's, it may not come instantly, but you'll see, you'll feel that as well. Okay, and that chakra meditation, meditation means again, your focus and attention is here, okay, on your, on your chest. And when it is there, then slowly you'll see that the energy will evolve then you can slowly develop more and more self-love. Me, Som, uh, Som Prakash, I am a business and a life coach. I help people to become more successful in their own business and in their own personal life. So if you want to follow me and need any help, uh, feel free to go uh, to somprakash.com, S-O-M-P-R-A-K-S-A, somprakash.com. And I would love to hear from you. And if you want to download this uh, ebook on the very sp uh, same topic uh, on self-love, so then you can visit the website and you can download the ebook from there as well. Okay, speak to you soon. Bye-bye.